guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'll be making an end table and I use Dollar Tree balls for this end table I made it in black and then I changed the color to gray to match my decor let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite color I think both of them look nice and that's the fun part about DIY you can switch up the colors do anything that you like to suit your own needs Okay, you can make it in white. I think it will look beautiful in white. I'll be using this ball from the Dollar Tree. Three of them I'll be using. And I have a dowel. This is 19 inch wooden dowel. You can also use the dowel from the plunger that the Dollar Tree sells. I'm just going to use a sharp blade to carve a hole so it can fit my wooden dowel. Then I'll just place my dowel in that hole and I'll twist and push gently towards the top. And I'm just trying to make sure that it stays centered. And then I'll make another hole at the top so the dowel can come through. And I'll do this for all three balls. And then I'm going to be using my black acrylic paint to put one layer on each ball. And you can do all of them at the same time. Just place them on the dowel. So you're going to do one coat on all three balls and place them to dry. And if you've been watching my DIY, you know I love to use sand for texture. So I'll be using my Dollar Tree sand to add some texture. And then I'm doing the second coat. And for this coat, I'll be adding my sand. And then just place those to dry. And in the meantime, let's work on our base. I have two pieces of particle wood and they're quite heavy so that's what I'll be using plus I have two pieces of plywood half inch plywood that I use my jigsaw to cut and I cut them in four inch squares and to hold them together I'll be using my gorilla wood glue I use my sandpaper to sand away some of the previous paint from the surface so they can stick better together Now I'll attach the two pieces of plywood and I'm going to make sure that they're in the center. And then I'll just place some weights on top and while that's drying I'm going to be working on the top. And for the top I'll be using this um, 14 inch mirror that I got from Michaels and I'll be using my quarter inch plywood that I use my jigsaw to cut It would be best to use a half inch plywood, but I didn't have any so I'll be using my quarter inch plywood I'll just cut two pieces 14 inch diameter and then I'll attach both of them together And then my third piece of four inch square will go in the center of the top now it's time to drill our holes to fit our dowels and I'm using a one inch dowel so I'll just use the dowel to find the center on both pieces the top and the base and then I'll use my one inch drill to drill the holes. So this is the top and the hole is three quarter inch deep and that's the purpose of using that half an inch plywood so it's going through the half inch plywood plus the first quarter inch. And then for the base this will be one and a half inch deep. I use my glass cutter to cut my mirror pieces and I'm using the Walmart mirror for this. And to attach my mirrors, I'll be using my Loctite PL530 construction adhesive. And all the items I'm using, I'll be listing them in the description box below the video.
and just clean up your area as you go along because this glue is very strong and I'll just use my masking tape to help hold the pieces together until they're dry And now I'll just attach my dowel with my wood glue and you just want to put a generous amount of the wood glue inside the hole and around the dowel so it can be nice and strong and then everything will just stay and dry at the same time. No, I have these napkin rings. I bought them on Amazon. Um, you can use the napkin rings from the Dollar Tree, but this one have that little curve, the lip on both ends. And I think that made the shape of the table a little bit more nicer than just the straight napkin ring. So I ordered mine on Amazon. I'll just use my construction glue to attach that right over the dowel. And then I'm also going to use that construction glue to attach my rhinestones. It's best to use the tacky glue for the rhinestones. I don't recommend using this construction glue. It did not work well for the rhinestones. See it's just sitting on top and these rhinestones need um, liquid to just fall into the liquid and just dry. I had to be pushing my rhinestone down into the glue so it didn't work well. And for wherever the rhinestone did not touch I'm just going to be adding some of my silver glitter. So now I'll just go ahead and add my balls and I'm using three balls and three napkin rings and I went over the balls with one coat of my spray paint to give it a glossy finish because my acrylic paint was a matte finish. And then we have three quarter inch left for the top. We're going to work on the top before I start to do that. I'm just going to shake off that excess um, rhinestone and glitter. And I'll put that up for future use. And I'm just going to use my brush, my paint brush to just brush off the excess. And then I'll seal it with some Mod Podge. So hopefully you'll be able to skip this step if you're going to make this end table. I'm using some sawdust and my wood glue. And I'm going to make a paste just to fill in the gap between those two pieces of quarter inch plywood. If you use a half an inch plywood then you're set. But I'm filling in the gap so I can have sort of a smoother finish so I can paint the rim. After it's dry I'm just going to use my sanding paper to just sand it down. So as you can see, my cuts aren't perfect in the corners of the mirrors. So I'll be using this one inch mirror tile to just cover the edges. And I'm doing that for all the corners. And this is the underside of my tabletop, but I want it to be nice and neat all over. So I'm just going to use some of my wood glue as a primer. So I wet my brush with a little water and I'm just spreading that. And I'll be using this white paint underneath and on the edges. And this is the color sample paint from the Home Depot.
and I'm going to be adding two coats of my paint. This is the felt pads from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using six of them underneath the base so my mirror won't chip when it's touching the floor. And now all that's left to do is to attach the top and I'm going to be using my construction glue. Just remove those um, pads from behind that mirror. This is the mirror from Michael's, it's 14 inches. And I just attach my wooden piece on top and I'm sealing my paint with some Mod Podge. And that is it. I'll put it together and this is in the black. I did not add any glue because I knew I wanted to play with some colors. But for now, it's in gray. And after I added the gray, then I added my glue. And when you use the glue to attach the top, make sure that you're using a leveler to level the top. And I use my same wood glue to attach the top. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this table, guys. I love it and it's very sturdy and it's going to last me a long time. Let me know what you think about this DIY. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And please click on the screen to continue watching more of my DIYs. And I'll talk to you next Friday. Bye-bye.